and a return to your old club. It uh, don't get much bigger than that for a for a first game of the season, does it? Yeah, yeah, um, definitely agree. There, it was something I didn't really think about. It was um, when I'd be going back to Warrington, and it was a bit of a shock with how early the fixtures were announced, and it was like, oh wow, it's. Uh, yeah, like I say, it's a special occasion making my debut for, for Leeds and something I've been really excited about, especially on the back of two, three months hard work and, and you can't really wait for that first competitive game, really. Um, so, yeah, it does, it makes it that bit more special and a bit more of a point to prove as well, going back to a, an old club. So, hopefully, really looking forward to it and hopefully get a win and a good performance. Do you feel like you do have a point to prove to Warrington? Um, not necessarily, but to Warrington, it's just I don't really feel like I've reached my potential that, that I, I do have. So it's probably more of a point to prove to myself and, and everyone really that what I can do and, and get a bit consistent with that. And um, the way it is, it's going to be Warrington up first, so there's no better chance to go and do that against my old colleagues, really. You've obviously got a lot of time on your side in your career, you're still a young lad, but wh why do you think you've not quite reached your potential yet? Um, it's a difficult one and it's something I've, I, I, I do think about well, I have done in the past quite a bit, and especially when I was making a decision to move on. I just think the, I've been fortunate to be at a real good club that is Warrington, and I've played along some great uh, great names as well. And um, how you handle that is, is massive, really. And, and I think I've, I have handled it well, but then in terms of actually pushing on and reaching the potential, I don't think I did handle it that well. Like I've always had good relationships with names and been fortunate to play with them. Um, but not as if it was sat back and letting them take all the minutes and stuff like that, but I, I reckon I put too much pressure on myself to try and push for them and push to try and get some minutes. And uh, way I've dealt, that really didn't do me any good with how much pressure I was putting on myself. And um, I think I was going into games knowing that no matter what I did, I was going to get a limited game, amount of game time or the week after someone was going to come back from injury and that was going to push me back out the team. So I was pushing to do stuff that I didn't really need to do and I should have just been focusing on the key key skills of my job and I, I don't think I did that, so I was trying to do something special and I don't think it helps when you get branded or you, you make an impact on a game every time you play. So then every time I was turning out and coming on, I was trying to make that impact and sometimes you end up doing something stupid and a bit silly and it's just now about try, trying to focus and just calm down a bit really and, and um, get a bit more composed when I'm playing. So you, you wanted to, when you when you get developed here and, and settle down, you want to drop that super sub impact player type of... Uh, yeah, 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 well it's, it's not it's not something that, it's not the actual fact of someone saying that that's what I am, it, it's just I was getting praise for that and so then I thought well no matter what I do anyway, I'm, I'm not going to be in the team or I, I'll, I'm never going to push for that starting nine shirt. It's, um, so I always figure, well, that's a way forward. That, and then that took, probably took away from me developing what I probably needed to with the basic skills of actual playing nine. Because that explosiveness and uh, quick edge on my half is something that I did have, I felt naturally had. Um, so I focused a bit more on that and a bit more pressure on trying to do that. And then that pre pressure just ended up putting more pressure on my actual skill side of it and um, and affected how much time I could actually have on the field because I was running around like an headless chicken sometimes and yeah, it was good because I was working hard and I was do, trying to do my best but probably hindering me a bit in, in that way as well to put me under pressure fatigue-wise and then that affects my skill. I guess a big reason for that was obviously Darrell Clark, obviously and the, the, the quality that he possesses and, and the impact he has on the Warrington team. So is, uh, is, there, a bit, is there a little bit of you thinking, oh, what might try to get one over him a little bit on? No, no, it's, to be honest, the, the, the times I'm speaking about was probably a bit before Daz, when I was playing behind, when Mickey and Monas were together. Mm -hmm. So if there was an injury there and I'd get my spot on the bench, it was no matter what I did, I knew, well, I felt as if I probably weren't going to get in that team because of obviously the experience and the players that they were, which is, I could, I understand. and and uh, But that's what I'm saying, that was the difficulty of being in the position and I don't think I handled that well. Mm -hmm. Whereas probably I should have just been relaxed and tried to enjoy it a bit more and, and te take each game as, at a time and I might have pushed my way through. But whereas I was trying to do something special and push my way through and it affected me really. And um, that might have brushed off with, with, with Daz, it's, it's exactly the same, but probably more in the game time moment. Like I say, I Daz, when he first came to the club, he, would, he just wouldn't man of steel and he was playing for England. And he, he's, I, 
he's a great nan and we, and we all know that. And I'm, I'm still in the same boat here with Matt. He was in Dream Team last year and, and he's a great nan. But it's not what they're doing, it's more on how I handle being being in that situation. Like I said, I've said it before, it's it's not an issue for me being around another nan and I've always had good relationships with other nans. The issue is how I deal with it and how I get the best out of myself in that situation compared to trying to force something and putting that extra pressure on myself. Just try and relax and do my job as if there is no other nan there and then I would imagine I'd probably get the minutes and the performances that I want. Is this environment the place for you to do that then? Um, yeah, I would, would say so. Whether it's the environment or, or not, I, I, I just think it's timing. And like I said, I'd, I'd done quite a lengthy time at Warrington and coming through and, and yeah, I broke through and I don't really f feel like I've reached my potential. So I, I, to me, it was all about moving on, freshening up, getting that hunger back and enjoyment and hopefully learning from the past that I've had and just being a bit more relaxed and um, just enjoying my rugby again and take that pressure away and then hopefully I'll, I'll um, start playing some decent rugby again.